Day two required very exacting work. Debris hanging from Monday's collapse had to be carefully removed. Uh -oh. At Fourth and Elm, there was a somber overlay to the work being done here. The sparks of a power saw on rebar, fellow construction workers climbing the steps of the closest scaffolding, a chaplain on the street corner watching the sad reality of this recovery effort. Well, it's tough. Uh, we don't take, switching from a rescue mode to a recovery mode is not something that any firefighter takes lightly. Certainly being around the holiday season makes it that much, that much harder. Heavy equipment was lifted into place by an on-site construction crane. The concrete field of recovery work measured 40 feet wide, 200 feet long. Urban search and rescue teams were in from as far as Columbus. We had 60 of them here last night. They were all released this morning at 6. Much of today's preparation involved shoring up the area of the collapse with support beams. For hours, workers were either doing recovery or stabilizing that area ahead of anticipated high winds. And as you look live at some of the work here, a Turner Construction statement says tonight the focus remains on finding that missing worker, that it's best to refrain from speculating about the cause until an appropriate time. Turner Construction, in its statement, asking for everyone's thoughts, understanding, and support as they continue this very difficult and hard and necessary work. Live downtown, John London, WLWT News Fund. All right.